Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel, Natalia with you and cheers to you from Canada. We have today unboxing from GBFKE. Uh, I have in here one, two, three, four, five, six diamond painting and this package uh, we almost believed it got lost it but obviously found me, thank goodness. So we have in here six diamond painting and I'm thinking that we might well be um, separate them on two videos because some of them, uh, one of them very big, some of them small one. But there's some in here that's really concerning me and I'm <laughs> terrifying of this package. Why? Because I have another unboxing to do with you with different company and I see same concept like a double bag of diamond painting and it's lots up there and I'm hoping that this is not double sided adhesive uh, because the way I touch and the way I feel I can tell that this diamond painting roll on the roll uh, foam so hopefully this is a normal glue that we like to have. So we will start with this one. Fingers crossed, okay? Uh, let's start one by one and we will see if we will be able to do them all. Or maybe we will separate them too so video not as long, okay? So let's start with this one because this is the most concerning and the most terrifying to me. I really have to keep the sticker because this sticker number is the easy way for me to find the link and it's okay no I did not break it all right so let's let's see it how it's glued it's a double bag I'm not sure why Okay, it is rolled on the foam. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it what I want or it's not? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 I don't like this. Okay, anyway, let me before I get myself very disappointed let's just check first uh, and this glue residue now in here too okay I will have to rescue this one anyway tear apart this design I waited for so long because I watch Anna hi to you Anna you already finished this diamond painting did you have the same thing designed like this one? There is adhesive, double sided adhesive, or yours was with the for unglue. I would love to know this. Uh, the good thing in here, all the diamonds is in the bag and the Ziploc bags. Okay, see? All the colors in the bag and this is a uh, square diamonds um, Anna is yours was the square diamonds as well or not I would love to compare because she's already finished hers now in here is it is a good kit so it is different like it's a plus and minus at the same time I will say so let's see kit first what we have in the kit huge amount of wax uh, finally they have a white container which is better than green one kind of poorly made all these bumps are very sharp and there's little plastic in here that we have to kind of cut it out see sticking out but that there is a good tray uh, then we have a cheap pair of tweezers usually I toss them on the garbage because they are bad um, then we have a few, oh it's a kind of two together big chunk of wax we have in here doesn't have a number no, it doesn't have a number but it's a 
probably 10 placer the one the skinny one that I like them and we have a four placer so if you don't have a four placer this is awesome and it's already with grapey oh this one coming out uh, so you can easily exchange on what you need okay uh, with the grippy and a pen of course nice and sparkle and glittery can we see the glitter on it yes we do after all the toolkit is amazing and I like to reuse this big ziplock bags you can use them to organize your leftovers diamond painters because after a while you will collect them more and more and uh, well for anything really so that's a good thing and a good thing of course this diamonds but we will get to them a little bit later I'm going to put them now let's see this uh, I just don't know why this packaging got kind of different with this kind of I wish they would put on the website and if the company listening to me please add to your design on a website if this is double-sided adhesive or pour on glue because it's important uh, plus I don't think anybody like this canvases anymore I just feel sorry because I love this design and there's nothing the saying on a website which exactly diamond painting this is. All right, a little bit sticker in here. So let's see, we will try to unroll kind of gentle because you know when you unroll, it will create reverse. So you have to, and it's really stiff. It looks perfect because it's rolled tight, but when you unroll, will be continuous stay nice or not I was really looking forward to this one really oh very very stiff okay so we do have a roller in here that's a good thing now I will have to pull the sheet open to restick to make a flat. I like to double sided adhesive to keep them flat on my table so the glue can rest. It has a two pair of cuts, like a two pieces of adhesive. So let's open the other one too so we can stretch a little and have ability to see the design because the design is gorgeous it's like mosaic love this design so I will pull together and unroll look at this beauty it's really really beautiful so I already have a glue river right in here which is minus that's what we have when we have this glue. So I will now restick my sheet and this will help me to keep design flat. Okay, now it's flat. Let's fix another side the same way as we did this one. You have to be careful by grabbing a corner of the paper because sometimes glue can pull together with this paper. So just start very, very slowly edges so your glue don't come out together. And let me grab another one together because it looks like this one overlapping a little bit. So I have to pull this one first. So yes, Anna, I will wait for your reply. Please tell me if your canvas was same thing, double-sided adhesive and square diamonds or yours was different. 
Okay. Okay. So I saw only one little river in here of the glue. Looks like now it's okay. So design in here uh, has 35 colors, have a DMC code and size 40 by 40. So there's not much we can see here design like, well, you kind of you kind of see design, right? Uh, let's let me show you field. Uh, some area a little bit darker, some brighter. Uh, you might will need to use some light pad if you diamond paint and by the window like I do that you shouldn't have too much problems the canvas looks beautiful for now you can see I'm wiggling for you so it has a light reflection there's no reverse in here so kind of survive but it's just that um, I don't like this paper <laughs> I don't like these papers and here is the design like this way it's gorgeous i love it and i saw already finished if you're not in my facebook group lovecraft forever please join and anna posted up their finished design already and it's absolutely stunning so 35 colors we just going to count this way i see few diamonds escape maybe one bag didn't close good enough we have to find which one because i see dark diamonds so some of these bags got escape let me see which one i think this is darker one color so let me just shake them up a little bit sometimes you know it's all put it on the bags by the people not by the computerized like we have the strips of diamonds so obviously sometimes they just don't zip feels like they zip but they didn't so we have you can see how many diamonds escaped from one bag so it's only one bag that got a little bit loose And I think, I think it's the, this color. Looks like this one zip tight, let me check. They all zip tight, so I don't know, just I got some extra. So we will put them in this one. If I put on a tray, it doesn't match, then later I can just put them back into this bag. So I will just briefly count I need 35 colors, so one, two, three, see this one, one diamond's out of the ziplock. Oh, go back inside, go deeper, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so it's 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we have all colors in here. Uh, I do have a question about this bag. What kind of number that is? Four. Um. <laughs> okay, we will figure out this one later. Looks like a four or a nine. No, no idea. No idea. This bag is questionable. Okay, if you can understand writing, what kind of DMC this is. I think this is the one, or it's like this. No, I don't think it's this way. I think it's this way. Give me a hint. 
I'm not sure. I will have to find it later. Or maybe 162. Do we have 162? 161. 166. I don't know. Okay. I will have to figure out about this one. So what I think about this one. Uh, I like that they already prepack in a Ziploc bags. I love this concept because it's, it's so neat and fast. You don't have to look for a storage. If you are a beginner, then you don't have probably much storage yet. If you already diamond paint a lot, um, I know you have lots of containers, but it's always good to receive already prepacked diamonds and ready to go. Uh, kit, amazing, very good kit. Besides the tweezers, scrap that. Other than that, I love the placers. They are good, I would say the best one. Uh, because the flat one, not the one, the clear one, the flat, opaque, or how would we call this, tips are really, really good. Now, glad that they put roller, this create less damage. Do I still prefer pour on glue? Of course. So now that's make me scared because I have another package from different company which from the same kind of office that we're gonna have lots to see of this kind of stuff so uh, this is a little bit disappointment but hopefully on the end when we create this it will take me longer of course because I will have to work with one placer only double-sided adhesive I barely unless I really need to speed up or something I will recommend always use one placer at a time on double-sided adhesive because it's if you messed up you cannot move glue is really really grubby all right so that's our first diamond painting number two so I really have to email and ask what is going on why their diamond paint and canvas is changing from good to to the other stuff and why this happening and how to avoid so people can have a choice if they don't want that kind of stuff because that will be disappointing on the end when you order you expect and good glue and will be not and I believe that's that can provide some kind of uh, troubles so of course the mandala i love mandalas and one time i asked what have to pronounce properly mandala or mandala uh, some of you say one way some another so i guess uh, you say whatever you feel like so i'm more comfortable to say mandala and that's how it's going to be this one is really similar to one that I already created but it is different beautiful and that's another example that you can create with this one to create some kind of like a 3d project you know okay I got a little bit scared this is just a nothing from the table I guess okay so what we have in here that's a good amount of colors in here actually 14 colors and I have feeling that maybe Catherine will like to work on this one she is working right now on a diamond paint and she she got into it I'm really glad about this so the image itself is very beautiful canvas very very glittery and only the number parts that is not glue on it so it's kind of like a glue they try to put glue right on the places where um, your numbers is and here it is the field that we have to create looks pretty good and clean to me okay now let's see diamonds it's always exciting thing exciting part to see diamonds itself we have quite a bit uh there's a bag in here how many bags we have in here to put our gems or at least leftovers oh that's a good amount of bags in here one two 
three, four, five. Okay, that's that's good. Tray and wax and one placer. Very often we receive a diamond painting with no bags at all. So this is good. Now let's check it out our diamonds. I already see my favorite ones. And I'm not sure if this one glowing one. Is this is glowing diamonds? I might have to bring a flashlight to check because this one could be the one that glow on a dark uh, luminous uh, diamond painting. I think it is. You know what? Um, let me pause and bring a flashlight. Okay, I will bring you a little bit more close to me. Okay, so this one, I think they should be glow. So I have here flashlight. We're gonna put a little bit light on these diamonds and check it out if they will glow or not. I already completed, finished the uh, two glowing diamond painting and they are amazing. Oh yeah, look at this. You can see that is glowing. Let's get close to camera. Where, where, where? Yes, we can see the glow. It is light in here because the light overhead, but yes, they are glow. Woohoo! If you never have a glowing diamond painting, Check videos that I created wolf and I created a mandala that has a glowing diamond. So uh, look my video how beautiful they look like when they glow at night. So let's see what kind of else diamonds in here. Mm, gorgeousness. So okay, so this is the glowing diamonds. Don't mix them with the other one when you put leftovers because some of the colors regular diamonds looks exactly like so usually I put on my bag glow just so I know what kind of diamonds we have this one nice and dark very deep color in here bright red And then we start to have some purple, it's like a teardrop, not by the shape, but it's like a transparent, uh, it's like a dew drop, or what would you call uh, This one is always my favorite, and I have them in a few different shades, some of them purple, some of them more like a greenish, this one orange shift in colors, look, there are so many of colors you can see on them this one just pure red this one has a cuts on it so a very very sparkle on the sun and we have same color but the same thing like a dew drop nice and clear And here's the red. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful project to do diamond paint together. AB diamonds. And the blue. And one more. Same shape, but in red. Oh, diamonds are gorgeous in here. So yes, it is a glowing diamond paint and I'm really, really happy. Yeah, so if we put in here, I think from far you kind of you can see yeah, there is glow because the clothes I can bring it to the camera and it's hiding. So yes, um, we will drill with you together on this one sometime soon, I think, because I love to work on this kind of project. All right. Thank you, GBFKE. This one is gorgeous. Now let's see one more, something little, uh, this one little but feels a little bit heavier, so let's see this one, what we have in here. I think the two bigger one canvases we will leave it for next time, uh, because uh, this video will be a good enough link, so we can have one video this week, one video the other week, and then mids we will have some uh, whip and chat. Okay, so this kind of 
Oh, they have like so many. Huh. What is this? Like, it's like a paint spray or what? Okay, let me see. Oh, look at this. Again, good amount of bags in here. Wow, they start surprising me a little bit. And we have a four placer, four placer in here. Did we zoom out all the way? I think so. I have to bring you a little bit more higher for this one. Okay. So let me show you. They have a big series of this kind of, okay, this way, of diamond paint and then that look like, um, I just have to readjust my screen, okay. Uh, what we see in here, tiger, okay, reflectance, so tiger drinking water, we see this before in a regular diamond painting, like in browns and yellow colors, uh, and now they have this like in purple, almost like a glowing, mysterious uh, fluorescent lights, and I really, really like that. And I think uh, this one will be something similar to this one. Um, I think so. So this one is 30 by 40 centimeters. By the way, Mandala is 30 by 30 centimeters. I think you already saw that. Uh, but I just don't understand what this all these purple dots in here on the canvas. First I thought maybe like a glitter spill, but no, this is on the canvas itself. I guess paint got spray or something on it. Uh, but that really doesn't affect your diamond painting because all you need is just to have a good field in here and of course in here looks beautiful. Let me show you even canvas dark but I think we cannot complain in here. No, every single symbol you can read it very well dark feel is really so the K probably will be black colors in here and I don't know first when I saw this diamond paintings I thought maybe some diamonds in here glow in the dark as well uh, because somebody told me that they do have a different colors in glow diamonds I never have them only white ones so I'm not sure I would love to experiment and maybe just flush flashlight on all of them and check if any of this will be glow or they just beautiful as it is by being very colorful. I have a 16 colors in here. Uh, no DMC code whatsoever. So you know what, I'm just going to fold it on half like this, look at this juicy bright colors. I, I would love to flush it, hopefully something, which I doubt it, but there is a little hope, you know, that something can glow, probably not, but we can try it, we can try it, okay, let's see, and there is nothing glowing about these diamonds. No, they don't glow. Okay, that was just my imagination. Never mind. So, 16 colors. Do we have a 16 colors? Yes, we do. And you know what? Uh, the symbol K that I thought would be black, it's actually not black. It's a very dark brown color. I think it's brown. Let's see close to the camera. Is it dark brown or it's a dark blue? Grayish? I cannot really tell what kind of color this is. Looks to me like brown and then when I look on the camera looks like dark dark blue maybe. Not sure but we have a three bags of them. And then let's see what else in here. This one is very bright. This is dark blue, so that one probably dark brown, like or dark gray. Definitely not black. Uh, 
lots of blue shades now all the purples this one pretty and then bright bright pink oh this like in here those lines mm, the light reflecting it's so bad I have to show you probably sideways, sideways sometimes better to see because wrinkles kind of get straightened up. Okay, this way, this uh, beautiful turquoise and pink kind of mix with purple, I think it will look beautiful. So yeah, it's a tiger drinking water, very mysterious green eyes and for some reason it's so reflective that it's hard to show you. How about this out clear sheet, is there any different? Still blue shining because it's a very good. Uh, very, no, I think it's a little bit better. You can see this way. Gorgeous, very mis mystical tiger. Okay, I'm happy with this one. So now it's a two for two. Very well done. And for some reason, I think the other one will be the same one. Kind of um, with this kind of colors, unless I forgot what I ordered. All right, let's check this one. As usual, I would love to see which one was your favorite. So make sure you comment. This one looks a little bit chubby. This is 30 by 40. Yes, see, it's kind of same series, and that's what I'm saying that I really, really like. In here, we don't have any extra bags, so just a simple kit as usually we receive. And yes, this is the other one kind of similarity to this mysticals, purples, blues, and, purp and pinks. And this oval is beautiful. It's like a... Um, sky mystical sky behind it's a very beautiful painting whatever who painted this we do have a dmc code in here and yes it is by looking at a print in here that's what i thought we have a square diamonds with this one very nice sitting on a branch so let's see glue condition in here Oh, this glue is really thick, thick layer of glue. So our diamonds will go nowhere. Look at this amount of glue. See how it's a very, very thick layer. The field itself, very clean. Very beautiful. Let's see diamonds. So we need in here oh, 20 colors in here. Twenty colors, and this one is square diamonds. Any chance? Any chance? No chance. Okay, no chance. <laughs> no glow here. All right. I tried to make a magic. So let's see from one to two. And in here, 19 and 20. Okay, all colors in here. And oh, what? <laughs> Surprise. Oh my God. So look at this. Two DMC code, the computer didn't pinch them together. Boom. Try to figure out which one color it is. Oh my goodness. It's definitely a computer error. They kind of tried to pinch the glue them together, but did not work very well. And now we have a confetti in here. So I just have to check, but good thing they have a DMC code. 
So definitely, uh, on the bed, on the beds, 826, 827, 917. Okay, so yes, it is a DMC code. Now I have to match with my other DMC code to see which one is a light color, which one is a dark color. So yeah, never ever I have this happen to me before. So I will have to let them know so they can check if uh, other kids have the same arrow or not. Because that's a little bit annoying to have a, all them mix. So I would recommend if you have, just put them on a tray and go after uh, two symbols at one. Just to pick from one tray two colors. So uh, thankfully they are very different in colors, bright and darker. So it will be easier to kind of separate them. I wouldn't be sitting and separate them purposely, but I would do them while I diamond paint. So yes, that, that's what we have in here, hot mess. It happens sometimes, we don't have too many accidents. So time from time, it happens. Okay, my dear friends. This diamond looks actually really good. So let me show you like very, very close. It looks beautiful. Nice and clean sides, looks like it. So we just have to see how this will be go on a canvas. And the most important is the canvas, the double-sided adhesive with, with square diamond paintings. So I think I will be um, able to start at least maybe in a corner somewhere to see if diamonds will not have popping effect because uh, this is something new I guess that arrived to their warehouse uh, because I have those ones uh, you will see in my other unboxing unfortunately but I will have to tell them that this could put them into the lower cells because People don't like that glue. I don't like that either. Okay, uh, thank you so much for staying with me today and do a review with me together. Uh, please let me uh, know what you think about all these canvases, how you feel about our first canvas that we opened with you, and which one was your favorite. And thank you so much for all my new viewers who decided to uh, subscribe to my channel if you are still did not subscribe please welcome we do upload video in here every single day and have lots of fun all right thank you very much and i will see you tomorrow